Hello, I am Ariel Flood Advisor, and I'm finally playing Endless Legend. Got delayed because of a couple things, real life stuff going on. I have a cold right now, so I'm going to sound stuffy, but I decide I'm going to record anyway. And anyway, time to get started. I'm playing as the Cult of the Eternal End. They can only found one city, kind of like Venice from Civ V, for those of you familiar with that. However, unlike Venice from Civ V, these guys have a military bonus. I'm playing on serious difficulty, and I'm going to absolutely steamroll my opponents. Come on with me, and we'll watch that happen. So I'm going to found my city here. I like the production there. Food's kind of eh, but I'll pick up on that pretty quickly, especially if I'm building stuff that quickly. Wow. Okay, so research. Tech tree is a bit different now. You unlock different errors. I think it's eight technologies from the previous errors unlocks it. It's, yes, it is. And here's how I like to start out. Industry, science, dust, strategic resources, luxury resources, approval, food, attack units. It's the one you start out with as the cultist kind of stinks. This, which will allow you to buy heroes. And based on my location, I'm going to nab that. That's more dust based on water resources nearby. That will give science boost to things that have science on the terrain, which I do have a couple there. No, I'll get that one too. Most of the stuff in the tier 1 tech tree is really, really handy. So, gonna explore a bit. I've already got a minor faction there. The Geldrius. Uh, Gildirus. They are the founder only minor faction, actually, the Ice Wargs. And since I pre-ordered this and played during early access, I have access. And they have quests. I'm unfortunately not going to read them this time around because I am that stuffy. But I'll at least read what we have to do. Our goal is to convert two minor factions to our cult. And the one of these are the minor factions. They kind of work like barbarian encampments and Civ. Kind of cross between that and a city-state, sort of. As I understand how the aliens work in Pandora First Contact, I haven't played that one yet, but they work kind of like that, except you can befriend them. And I would imagine the aliens in Beyond Earth will work like that too, based on what I've seen so far from that. Sort of, with some differences, they're just kind of rough analogies. Okay, so these guys are actually in my territory. If we click on my city here, it'll tell me how many of their cities we have. Just the one, but that's okay. Gonna get that industry improvement, some more defensive stuff. You start out with these techs. One thing you can do with the little villages here, gonna click it up here. That's the cultist specific thing where you convert them to your cause. One, the obvious choice is attack them. The other two, bribe and parley. You usually have to research, but the cultists and the dragons start out with technology. Bribe, pretty much how it says on the tin. Parley's your best choice if you can go with that, because it would affect everything in the region if there's multiple villages. And they give you a little quest. So we have to find some... Actually, it's probably that village. Yes, it is. We have to attack that village, and then that makes these guys happy. Gonna explore a little bit more first, just get a look around, see what's going on in my starting and only territory. According to clicking on the city here, there's some resources I haven't found yet. One of them is glass steel, which I just found. That's a strategic resource. I hope the other's a luxury. The luxuries are nice to have, and they work quite a bit differently than they did in Endless Space. Ooh, they're powerful. Two-headed wolf archer dudes, and they can really kick some butt. A lot of this is very different from Endless Space, but it's going to be easier to explain it as it comes up instead of explaining it all at once. Like, there's going to be Empire Plans, which you'll see soon. Heroes work about the same, except their uh, skill tree is branched out like that now. And it's pretty much, as it says on the tin, this is stuff everyone gets. This is a faction-specific thing, because you can have different heroes for different factions. And class-specific, meaning if they're infantry, cavalry, flying, etc. This guy's an infantry hero. 
So he gets things that boost his defense and the defense of his troops. And speaking of, it's not just one unit. He's a hero and he's got troops down here. I can't move any further this turn. Trying to get an idea of how I can expand my city? Yes, only one city per region, even regardless of the cultist thing. And you get to expand it all over the place. Within reason, it's based on the city size and approval pretty much dictates how big you can get it before it collapses in on itself. And this is a big region. Okay. I am... Actually, I need a bit more food production. I'm going to go up this way first. I'm going to bump the burrows up, actually, because I don't need the defensive stuff right now. I'm not under attack. haven't even found another faction yet. But soon. We'll see who I find. There's some new people. The vaulters are returning. And there's a couple that work like... Factions of old, like the Necrophagers, kind of like the Cravers, except friendlier, sort of. And the Roving Clans, kind of pilgrimish with some of their stuff, like how they can uh, rapidly move entire city over to another place. So having a look around... Whoever Dark Blue is, they just colonized this region. I see oranges up here. We'll meet them in a little bit. Either I'll run across them by accident, or they'll find me. Oh good, spices. That's a luxury. Gives you a food bonus. That's really nice. They're one of my favorite ones. Favorite early game, at least. Up. Oh, ruin quest. Have to fight an army, and it was a cinch. Alright, so this is my region. It's pretty nice, pretty sizable. I do like the spices. Those are very nice. Gonna focus on getting rid of that now. And then converting some peeps to my cause. Now let's see. Um, I'm actually gonna move him to influence. That's a new resource. Influence, you need it if you're going to trade or even declare war on people. It will allow me to convert the minor factions. And for all factions, it allows you to ally with them, integrate them directly into part of your empire. Okay, I've already got my city expansion rolling. Let's get some... Where's the glass steel? Oh, it's way down there. I'm hoping the lack of early resources means there's some mid and late game ones. Alright. Destroy. Auto attack. Manual actually does something now, by the way. But for now, just leaving it on auto. Easier that way. Okay, since it's destroyed, I need more influence to convert it. But that's okay, I'll just run down here first, talk to them, make them happy, convert them. And I'll be a step closer to completing that quest and growing my army. You see, what happens is, the cultists convert these minor factions with increasing influence costs. And then the minor factions create units for you. The units are pretty much the cheapest ones and you can't upgrade them. It's very much a quantity over quality thing. But oh my goodness, the quantity is amazing. You'll see me with more units than I can really handle in the late game. Pretty much steamrolling my opponents. Which is good, because I'm aiming to do elimination victory this time around. Supremacy victory is actually holding me back before, because I kept kind of randomly winning it. So, I disabled that. And, gotta convert. Yay, got myself a little snaky. Well, it's not really little. Anyway, elimination basically means kill everyone else on the map. And since you can't win expansion as the cultist due to their city thing, that's pretty much what the substitute is. And that's my goal in the name of achievements, basically. Been playing a lot of this lately to get the hang of it since the new patches came out. I was recording something else before, but then the patch came out and it completely broke my save file. 
so I had to completely ditch like an hour and a half of recording. Anyway, recording it now. Here's the Empire Plan I talked about before. This is another thing that uses influence. And I'm really jumping around with topics here, I noticed. But anyway, you use a slider. It gives you bonuses based on various things. It's laid out basically in the same way the endless space tech tree was. Military is this way, science is this way, etc. For now, I like to do the three dust per population on cities. Because it's a nice little boost. And the nice boosts are very welcome, especially with dust. I was having a lot of trouble managing it before. Oh, dark blue is wild walkers. I can tell based on the architecture. They're kind of a pain in the butt. They like to war longer, but then again, so do I. So, we think alike, and they'll just be toast. Gonna go this way. More food, and that gives science. It's a good little thing to have. I'll expand towards the sea later on, after I get some text for it. Gonna explore down here a little bit while I'm waiting to get enough influence to convert. Now I need 80 because they're destroyed and I allied with the other faction already. Let's see, oh, hero level again. I just like doing them all at once because you get the percentage boost at the bottom there. You can't really mouse over because it's a tool tip to point it out. But for instance, if I continue on that one, it'll be a 20% boost instead of like 20 added on, 20 added on, then 20%, something like that. And that will add up, and even though that particular one's only affecting this guy here, it's going to be very handy because he will kick some serious butt until I get my armies absolutely cranking out unstoppably fast. Okay. Looks like I maybe have one or two regions off to a little peninsula here that my main city's blocking off. The other factions could run around there if I keep my borders open to get here, but... Honestly, the computer doesn't usually care. Oh, well, I'm sure it cares. It does to, doesn't usually try. Actually, it might connect up there again. Okay, so we've got light green up there, orange there, dark blue, which we know is the wild walkers already. Not sure of the other ones yet. More minor factions. Some more ruins up there. Basically, they work like goody huts. You run up to them, you get a quest, or you get some money. Or some resources, sometimes. Very rarely units. That's usually a quest-specific thing if you get units out of it. Got a crazy good dust income going on there. Oh hey, there's another region down that way. This probably is more interconnected than I'm realizing. Let's go up that way first, get the ruins. Parley with them. Oh, oh they want to fight, eh? We get the ruins, parlay, see what they want to do. If it's an easy quest, I'll just do it. Sneezing, and I will... If it's a hard quest, I'll just kill them. Alright, almost got another burrow going on there. I could spend some of dust buying stuff, but... Nah. I'll save it for later when I really need it. Like, when I'm buying a hero, they're expensive. Anyway, I could pass that pretty fast, and I apologize, but I moved up to an era, so now I can research stuff in this tech tree. Wanna wrap up what I'm doing in this one first, then I'll focus on this one. I know I'm gonna want this one to start out, because not only do I get the extra approval, I get the food and dust bonuses when they're really happy. Which is very nice to have. Now what? Parley... No, I'm not destroying any cities. Not this early, anyway. So I just bribed them. I failed the quest technically, but they're happy. Gonna convert them. Into my army you go. Into army you go. Thank you. 
Okay, um, I'm actually going to probably want them to assimilate them. That's why I met before you can ally with them. And what that would do is I get a movement bonus per village I have on there, and I think I'd like that because I'm going to need to cross the map very quickly at times. And if I can find more of their villages in other regions, I'm definitely going for it. Alright, assimilate a minor faction, so I have to do what I was just talking about to complete the next quest. Okay, seed storage. Get some food going. Especially since it's kind of food lacking in that area right now, even if the industry's through the roof. 